Well, look at this then. Standard. One mag, one gun. Another couple of LMGs. I have bought, um, got fiber optic sight on the front iron sight. Back in the focus. But not on the rear. The rear iron sight is adjustable. I'm going to focus. I bought a Tokyo Marie rear optic, rear uh, fiber optic, which apparently is compatible. So, let's get some gas and BBs in this and see how she fires. Right, so look, see. Using the extended mag and red gas, because it's a bit chilly in the workshop today. Let's have a look on the old chrono. Three forty five on a pistol. Three forty four. Three forty two. 345 339 Ooh. That is quite nice Yeah, have fun with that this weekend So, the WE High Kappa Dragon 7 inch it's quite an old gun, been around for years, so why am I doing a video on it? Well, I noticed as I was looking into this gun, there's not a lot of videos, video reviews of it, or unboxings or anything like that on this gun, um, and people may still be interested in it, like me, because of the look of the gun. It has a very Robocop style gun, uh, look to it. Um, I really love the way this gun looks. Uh, so I thought, what the hell, let's do a video. Um, if you've seen, I have a Chris Vector, Crytek Chris Vector, and I've put the striker rail on the front, which gives it the potato masher front. So this kind of goes well with that. Uh, what else about this gun? Now, apparently this gun, the change in the hop-up is the biggest problem with this gun. It's not a simple takedown. I mean, you've got your takedown lever. However... With this, to change the top up, you've got to take this whole front muzzle flash hider assembly apart. Uh, take all of that off. This end of the section here, apparently, and then take down. And then you can change the hop up. Now, I knew all that going in. I knew that before I bought the gun. I don't care. I just really like the way this gun looks. Um, with a bit of luck, I will be fielding it on Sunday, weather permitting. Uh, we are in the middle of Storm Eunice, so perhaps that won't happen. We'll see. But, um, yeah, hopefully I'll field it Sunday and see how it performs on the field. Uh, when I did the chrono earlier, 
uh, after I handed the gun over to my boss, he put a mag through it. I then put another couple of mags through it and then chronoed it again. Um, as you saw, it was topping out at 345. After it had cooled down a bit with the gas and also just bedded in a little bit, it was averaging between 306 310, which is still pretty damn respectable for a pistol. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, in terms of the size of the weapon, let's put the mag to one side for a moment. Standard Viper Tactical drop leg holster. Hang on a moment, got to take that out of the holster. That will go into a, an adjustable drop leg. I would imagine that if you have a belt clip style holster that fits a high capper of any description like a Tokyo Marui or a clone, it might fit in that, I don't know. But there you go. One WE high capper Dragon 7 inch. Also, another reason I bought this is I've got a tendency to buy guns with names rather than just numbers. And it's a dragon. How can you not like that? <laughs>